incorrect. Override denied. The password is incorrect. Override denied. Program activated. Welcome to another Username Nerd Podcast. My name is Mike Hewitt, and with me always I have Tim... Hewitt? Hewitt? What's going on? <laughs> it's different every time. There's no consistency, so I don't know what to gotcha. respond with. My whole Sandwich. name you gotta keep people on their toes. Just the last gotcha. name, finish Sorry. each other's yeah, sandwiches. Yeah. Exactly. Sandwiches. Keep people on uh, their We have Chris Polly over here, a.k.a. Polly. There we go. It'll happen just honestly. Polly. Somebody will just call me Polly. Just Polly. I'm fine with that. Do you like Polly rather than Chris? I do. Oh, yeah. I, I, I do, really too. Do. You are a Polly. I, I have coworkers who are absolutely floored. I guess you really are a Polly. I am Polly, but I have but yes. coworkers that have worked with me for years, and I, uh, someone will call me Chris around them, and they'll look at me like, "Who are you talking to?" And I'm like, "Well, that's that's me." It's like, "No, your name is Polly." I said, "Well, no, your well, name is not both. Christopher." Yes, literally. But my first name is Chris. Two and years, just floored. Yeah. yeah, two years knowing you, I found out your name was Chris, and it blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I won't actually tell people like my first yes. name, and yes. then. It's great. The last to see it's my only driver's license. Like, I don't believe you. That's no, no. One day he's gonna do something to upset me, and I'm gonna be like, Christopher <laughs> Polly. Only my one day does. he hasn't exactly. upset you yet. No, he hasn't really. To be honest with you, he's a very well, likable guy. This is very the longest person. intro. And yeah, he is oh, a likable guy. And our li- <laughs> and well, our not. our next guest. <laughs> and then we also have the actual guest. Andrew E. Wilson. How are you doing? Pretty good tonight. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. Uh, thank I, you for. It's Andrew Wilson, and it's such a common name. I, I don't have a nickname, and I. Th- wow, Andrew Wilson. How many, how many of us are there? The government's how like about, cloning uh, us. There is a. There's a lot out there. Actually. There are the, more than you would think. Yeah, more Probably. than you would think. Hey, uh, well, thank you for driving all the way back out here. <laughs> That's the joke. Um, I was getting ready to make oh, it. Oh man, and you got to a it week for me. from uh, um, when we. Uh, mm. Yes. I'm really thirsty. Um, <laughs> but you know. It's okay. <laughs> I don't have a car. I have a camel. I'm that old. <laughs> you walk. And like oh. for a second, I for a second I was like, oh no, my headphones are broken again. But I, just, I had just realized he hadn't gotcha. had shifted all the way on. Yeah. <laughs> no, the joke is <laughs> good. Yeah, we tape these all at once. <laughs> I don't think there's a single listener that, that doesn't know that, that doesn't know <laughs> yeah. at this point. But it is still the funny illusion every has been shattered. single time. It's not gonna stop us from making the joke. I'll tell no. you that much. If you really want to shatter the illusion, you give them the date and time. <laughs> what? It no. wasn't recorded no. just this today? was eight no. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no. Then they know how lazy it. we are to get these things out. <laughs> Alrighty, so So uh, back to uh, in so part one. Your first okay. <laughs> Previously? Previously on Username Nerd. Previously. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we basically, we were talking with Andrew about his uh, background. Uh, well, first of all, we were talking about his wares at Comic-Con and uh, the video. You can check that out on our YouTube channel mm-hmm. uh, for his hats that he makes, which are absolutely amazing. But then we talked about his... All the way up to his first game. Uh, <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, did we, we mention ice cream and yes, animals and uh, somewhere? Ice cream. That was, was ice cream talk. Chocobo, not going to lie, chocobo. ice cream was the highlight of the last episode <laughs> for me. Uh, everything else just kind of blurs together into ice cream. And some so. of those are farm animals. <laughs> so to your first game. <laughs> so now so we're on... This is what I'm talking what about. What we were going to yeah. talk to you about. So we got games. your uh, games. Troy Aikman football. Now... I have it right here. That, <laughs> you can that. hear it because he said it on the table. Clack. So um, talk to us about this game. Because you were saying so something about this the, was the 94. color palettes. Uh, wow. Super, yeah. super uh, Nintendo. This is your console because mine, is, my console. mine is Nintendo. Oh, I, know. I, mean, I, I mean, I like the Super Nintendo. This was my I... console, but this was not my game. I never played sports games No, I didn't personally. play. I played I did. baseball games. I, d- I did play the sports games. I just wasn't very good at them. I yeah. liked all the other ones. Yeah. But you were talking about the color palette, about how the grass had like eight different types of green. and Yeah, well, uh, we had to get creative uh, with this football game. As a creative artist, I'd love to just do anything I can to stimulate my creative juices and everything else. Well, here I am. I come into my first video game company. Okay. Sit me down. Fantastic. Here's your first project. You were going to do the create the storyboards and the workflow, the uh, design flow. For a football game. And I, I did nothing but yes. sat there and thought to myself, how on earth am I going to make this mind-blowing cool 
realistic, <laughs> awesome fantasy football game with eight colors in grass only. Mm-hmm. Wait, <laughs> no, white lines. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's right. Was that one of the eight? It it was one of the eight. In fact, uh, on white lines was two, so you only had six left. <laughs> well, there was a zero color palette that we oh, okay. had to reserve for, uh, uh, like an, it, what's called an alpha channel. Right, right, right. So you'd be able to use that alpha channel and and uh, uh, do like almost like cookie cutouts, and you'd be able to see different things mm. through those uh, negative areas. So, what do we have? Four colors or something like that. I don't know. Um, no, we had, I think we had eight <laughs> colors. Okay. And so, okay. um, it, it was, uh, it was extremely challenging to, uh, to come up with this, this game, uh, <laughs> with so many restrictions, but I was, I was so passionate about it. I mean, it was my first video game and mm-hmm. wow, imagine seeing this stuff in magazines. I don't care if it's grass in a line. But and, in magazines, you and know. this is Midway Games. That's yeah. a big company. This yeah. is not some, yep. you know, it's run of the meal. Pops. It's not a mom yep. and pops. This is this is this is a good company. Yeah, and and uh, and is that really three D? Was it a three D game or what? It, it I mean, was a it was a two D game. It was okay. called. Um, it wasn't until we started pioneering three D until about my second or third year into it. Mm-hmm. Um. So this once this game launched, uh, and everyone was happy and so forth, uh, we ported that to uh, Atari Jaguar okay, yeah. and uh, Panasonic's 3DO, mm-hmm. uh, which were t- <laughs> success Man. stories. They're awesome. <laughs> Those 3DO things. Oh. Like, that is that was a system to have. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the we, rich kids at it. I was like, oh, no. oh it's incredible. Yeah. We we had to. Uh, uh, we were mentioning um, off this podcast. Uh, palletization. We mm-hmm. had to port. Um, it's called porting um, from one uh, console to get it onto another, and everything in between was done either through code mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to get all the action and movements and so forth, or uh, artwork. And those palettes would the colors would never translate directly over to uh, mm-hmm. you know from mm-hmm. console to console. Example, um, we created the uh, Super Nintendo version of Troy mm-hmm. Football first. And then uh, Sega Genesis was kind of a simultaneous, but our, our main focus was the Nintendo mm-hmm. to begin with. But once we started, as artists, once we started uh, uh, transferring uh, all of those, those colors from the Nintendo version over, there's a little more than grass, actually. It was, right, you know, right. wrapper screens and, mm. and uh, lead-in and so forth. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, all that aside. Um, the grass was like, it, uh, it, it wasn't gre- greener on the other side. It was uh, like purple and brown and all this <laughs> stuff. And so I had to go back in and, and just brainstorm and figure out ways to make it look more creative again for this and then the, the jaguar and the 3D. Done. Mm-hmm. Oh, now you got to go awful. back and figure it all out again. Yep. Ugh. Yep. Yep. So it was uh, that. That is the nightmare about uh, about the old, or was the nightmare about the old games and mm-hmm. and trying to port anymore. Either a company has um, their own, you know, little manufacturing uh, system of, of porting or it goes to over overseas to like Ireland or mm-hmm. uh, another third party company. And then it comes back and mm-hmm. it is completely done. Mm. Now, the further you go back in games, do the teams get smaller? I'm assuming, I mean, I know ET was made by one person, the whole game. So he was an alien. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. And well, and, but maybe he shouldn't All have, cause that was pretty bad. Was Reese's pieces. <laughs> no. too. Ouch. But I mean, I mean, time. so how many <laughs> how many people were on your team during that? Um, it's for Troy Aikman football, let's see. I had, I think it was five or four oh, artists, wow. four okay. or five artists. Yeah. Anymore, it is you know forty, sixty people working mm-hmm. on you know yeah. a, a a mainstream platform game. Yeah. Like Silent Hill. Mm-hmm. Um, we were, you know, 45 people. Yeah. 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 All right, so what, so what then, comes so after? So move on to that. So move on to the next one. Um, fun and games. 
Fun of Games? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Polly yeah. remembers. Yeah. Polly remembers. Fun of Games? Fun of Games. <laughs> it was, uh, it's, boy, that was such a long time ago, and we were in the midst of, uh, you know, d- d- the tail end launch of, of the Nintendo and Sega version of, of Trigment. So, I, forgive me, I don't really remember a lot of it, but all I know is we were designing um, an, uh, uh, a digital coloring book mm-hmm. for kids. So it was kind of educational, but it was fun, fun mm-hmm. and games. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, what we That's what I was trying to <laughs> yeah, what we were responsible for was basically the uh, the outline. That's and, cool. and so forth. And so back then, uh, it's different. When you did Silent Hill, was there DLC? Was there downloaded <coughs> downloadable content? I don't think. I don't know. At that point, I don't think there was. Well. I mean, DLC is not something that started, didn't really start becoming popular in, until, until uh, Xbox One or Xbox 360. The 360. 360. But the end of 360? Uh, middle to the end of the 360 yeah. cycle. So it would have been right after. And what was yeah. the first yeah. game that did Because it, it feels like know. those games yeah. don't really stop. And that was my summer. last console. And so mm-hmm. that, that, is, really that would have been beyond me. Skyrim did the... the Horse armor, which right. yeah. re- it's notorious for it being like twenty dollars or fifty dollars. I feel like you lucked stupid. out of that one because yeah. it feels like a it game bucks, never ends. Yeah. Once this thing's created and out the door, I mean, whether you liked it or not, there's no going back and really fixing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you just move on to the next thing. Where it, and like like a uh, uh, midnight club. Yeah, uh, you know, we designed all of those vehicles. Um, with, uh, you know, the parts, bits and pieces, the upgrade, spoilers mm. and lights and dubs and wheels and whatever. Um, but you achieved those. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a buy-in process. Mm-hmm. You basically achieved those. You had to work your way toward them, whereas a lot work of games nowadays will do like the... Pay and play. I, I hate the pay-to-win situation, pay but win it, it, it does make a lot of sense where like a company will make a game and then you can unlock all of these things by spending hours upon hours upon playing this game that we've spent <laughs> years of our lives making or you can just pay an extra couple of bucks and, and here you get go. Yeah, yeah, that's Ugh. that's no yeah, good. That's horrible. That's uh, horrible. everybody and, and, man, I should but, I mean, knuckles. Holy crap, <laughs> that was louder right. than I thought. Like, it's I didn't it's really. the blessing and the curse of like <laughs> video games nowadays because whereas back then you would release a game and mm. you know if there was something wrong with it or there was something broken with it that that was it. it. It was yeah. broken. Whereas now you can release a game, and if there's something broken, you can you know send out a patch and yep. fix it. Yes, but Absolutely. you can also over over uh, you know OCD about it and just yeah. keep fixing. You, you stuff can, that. but the the curse part is there are companies, and I won't name names, that will put out a product and Before like go, done. all yeah. right, well we're gonna send it out now, and we're gonna immediately start working on like that day one patch to fix mm-hmm. these bugs and problems. Oh, that company. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna say, is it? Is it? Well, that's a whole other conversation. Right. So then, anyway. then uh, so after that, fun and games. Yes, I kind of assumed that was, you know, yeah, that was a, a very fun quick little kind of game. Yeah, but yeah. then going on, um, two of them. I mean, there's kind of Doom and then Rampage. Let's ooh, talk ooh. about Rampage first. Okay, because yeah. I do have something to mention on Doom. I wanted to. Yes, because that. that's a big Rampage, one. Rampage. So Rampage, you also you were kind of talking about just that you just yeah. did the porting stuff over that. It was it, it's called uh, palletization. Now how does and that? Does, well, can you tell us a little bit how that works? Because I'm yeah, I'm it, a programmer, so these I'm well, we very just, interested. We, well, we mm-hmm. just talked a little bit. Well, about kind of. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute, was I? I was <laughs> hoping for uh, a little. Bit. Did I black out there for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> can we just talk about ice cream yes. and farm animals? <laughs> So, well, we talked about how switching. Uh, what did that mean? Consoles or whatever would change the colors a little bit, so there'd be more work in going back to make it look. Uh, okay, I was going to get a little deeper, normal, but you're probably what, right. Never what mind. other aspects? No, I'm just no, curious. no, no, what no. Other no you're good. You're good. Well, I'm not. No, listen, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like no. saying that you weren't paying attention or anything like that. I'm just what other I things to do. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, no. Okay. I feel Doom. like you had a real question, and I back to Doom. I'm fine. Oh man. So let's go to Doom sixty four. Okay. Then real fast, because uh, I've heard some stuff about Doom, uh, but I am curious, and this may be, because uh, it's not really a art uh, question or art aspect, it's more of a gameplay question, where in the original Doom uh, on the computers, it wasn't, it seemed more 3D than it really was, um, because basically, if you remember in Doom, you could be on the bottom level of something and see a guy way mm-hmm. up above you on a top level, mm-hmm. and you could shoot, and you would still hit them, even though they're way up here. Right. It, uh, it because would, it, it would was auto aim for the different levels. Yeah, you right. could only yeah, look yeah, left yeah. and right, move forward and backwards. Which there was is no a restriction of vertically. 
but yeah, horizontally you can move and shoot, but exactly. vertically you can. Right. It just so that was a restriction of the technology at the time. So once it got ported to sixty four, I'm wondering because that was the first real, you know, uh, huge I, environment. Well, if you think I about it, I still don't remember being able to look up and down. With I don't no, either, because you had right? one joystick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was, I was the, like. Wait you don't have the standard two joysticks you have today. Well, but you had that with. Uh, they made it work with Mario sixty four though. Where you use the D-pad for... Mario 64 wasn't first person. Very true. Well, it was third person. But, yeah, I understand. You're, true. you're thinking... Uh, yeah, true. They did it with GoldenEye. The, That's the, GoldenEye yeah. is the reason why I do uh, inverted look. But because Goldeneye down was up and up so was down. It was, it was... That game was amazing. It was amazing, yeah, but you look at it now, it's like... Well, going oh, back and looking at it so now, weird. yeah, it still looks horrible. Anyway. But. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hmm. I don't know. Blah, but yeah, blah, blah. That's blah. why you do inverted look? Yeah. That's why uh, if if I'm ever playing a game behind you and I pick up the controller after you've had it, I you have to switch it. Scream this yes. because I forget, and then we start the game, and then and I'm then, like, "Oh no!" And then I have to scream because you know whenever yeah. I go back to playing, I have to switch it back. There's a lot of screaming. It really it don't makes, like it you, Paulie. No, it sorry. makes sense to me. All right, you push down, to make the camera go down. Sorry, so look up. but Anyways. so anyway, back to that question. Then, do you know if that's uh, well, what was the question? <laughs> was basically was that was that restriction was limited? It? So I think, from what I recall, it wasn't. You still only had one vertical uh, plane, right? Is that right? Yes. Uh, and I don't know I, if that's beyond. It, you know what? Uh, that's that's <laughs> well. I had I had to understand. I had to know these things mm -hmm. simply because the the range of uh, of uh, you know the the field of view. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for yeah. my artwork, it it needed to you know, be t taken into consideration. Um, but that was definitely more uh, of a, a gameplay gotcha. kind of programming. Gotcha. Okay, okay. You know, uh, do and see until and it fits right. And definitely, yeah, when, when it, the bullets that you're thinking of as a bullet. Yeah, it wasn't. But their bullet it was, was a yeah, line. A line. Yeah, 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 and that's just how they programmed it in there. All right, anyway, so d moving on, sorry. <laughs> so, okay, <It> is. <laughs> so Doom 64... <laughs> God for really ask a question, man. Jeez. It's all right. This hostility is really kind of getting to me. Can we tame yeah. it down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we just talk about ice cream? <laughs> you would not yes. like me when I'm mad. So there, there would, there. Rah. I feel like there are two different kinds of. What are you looking behind me? I'm just oh, gotcha. <laughs> um, there are two different kinds of games, I believe. Okay. There is the Nintendo games, uh -huh. and then there is everything else. The games we have today. Where you have Super Mario Brothers mm -hmm. and that kind of, you know, fun... 2D platformers. No, I wouldn't say 2D. Even today, you think of Super Mario Brothers and you think of Zelda and that, that kind of funness. And then you have, like, Doom and... You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, realistic, first-person, mm -hmm. you know, gore, you, that kind of thing. But I think you only associate that to Nintendo because Nintendo has generally done more of the funsy, sort I would of let, cutesy Okay, games. but I would let my five-year-old yeah. play right, you're right, Super you're right. Mario Brothers now, but I would not let him play the new Doom. So I well, and right. So well, the one I'm going, what I'm kind just of bad parenting, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> what I'm kind of trying to get to is this is the first real game like that in the '90s. Okay, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the it's the birth of everything we play today that is most of our market. Doom and sure. Mortal Kombat were very much those. Yes. yes. Very they, hyper, were, they were hyper the hyper beginning violence. of all yeah. this. Yeah. Um, so so tell us. <laughs> <laughs> How did you enjoy being part of that hyper-violent <laughs> movement? So tell us a little bit about Hyper-violence is what I'm all about. <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as he did Silent Hill. Yeah, I was going to say. That literally scares the crap out of um, me. <laughs> well, the, yeah. <laughs> So the uh, is your question? So in no, it's not my question. It's his now. <laughs> okay, so basically, <laughs> basically in Doom, tell us a little bit about your experience in Doom. In Doom, well, that was uh, an uber fun project. Um, I managed the uh, weapons mm -hmm. and the green oh, screen. Awesome. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so I we were in San Diego at the time at Midway Home Entertainment, and uh, I had to drive. What was it? I had to drive about three hours down to L.A. to Hollywood mm -hmm. um, to the the big Hollywood uh, props set and mm -hmm. so forth where, where all of the film industry rents their props. Well, here I am. I've got this signed thing from Midway or I can't even remember what it was or what it stated. But all I knew is I was scared to death. 
<laughs> because here I am with my little car with a drunk, and I'm picking up v- very real weapons. Drunk? I'm, Wait, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. <laughs> what? You're I, in well, your little car with a drunk? With a drunk. With, with, he wasn't really drunk. <laughs> okay, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. But he was there to, to protect me. No, uh, it was like a little leprechaun. Um <laughs> Just, I'm so confused. It was please, really, he was please go on. The, this is awesome. yes. I just assumed it was a trunk, but no, uh, yeah. it was with, a drunk. It was a, with, real... it was a drunk farm animal. Yes, on uh, ice cream. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so here I am. I had to uh, 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 basically rent all of these weapons that I had to bring back for uh, you know the green screen shooting and so forth. Okay. And, Which in itself is an awesome uh, assignment for any job, but you made it seem you're like. Oh, so I had to get in the car. <laughs> yeah, the and go to this angry. prop shop and get all these awesome guns and haul them back to my. <laughs> well, like, it, oh, it, it was it was pretty awesome. And now that I look back on the little <laughs> leprechaun guy, guns. he was fun. No, but uh, I actually uh, picked up from this rental place and took back to the studio with me mm-hmm. and was able to fire. Uh, Arnold's uh, sawed-off shotgun. That's awesome. Okay. So it was that the exact awesome. one that he used, and I don't know where the other weapons were used. Um, but anyhow, I, I, I was responsible for um, taking care of all the uh, uh, muzzle flashes Okay. in the green screen room, and then we digitized those muzzle flashes and, okay. then, and then basically put them on. That's cool. Uh, program, put them on the weapons. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Yeah, the really sawed-off cool. shotgun uh, was was very very interesting. Uh, even though these were blanks, they were real. Yeah, basically right. the real ammunition. So you'd have the uh, the same recoil as you'd have, you know, firing an, an actual uh, bullet. Well, here I am with the <coughs> sawed-off shotgun, and I needed to catch, you know, this uh, four-foot flare and so forth. Well, I'm about fifteen, maybe twenty foot, uh, twenty feet from the uh, green screen wall. Mm-hmm. So load, oh, no. you know, cock the weapon. <laughs> they're, uh, uh, you know, filming from above my right shoulder. Mm-hmm. And here the, the recoil was was d- 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 like uh, <laughs> bone crushing. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, it, if that wasn't enough, it fried the green screen. It, oh, it, was, no. it was at least a 20-foot muzzle flash of say. nothing but flame oh my gosh. <laughs> that we were not expecting so it was uh there's a little drama in the studio that day and yeah and so forth it was pretty cool so pretty now cool stuff. all the guns you, you did you, yeah, you I, all the guns were real uh all of the weapons were real um Wait a minute. but i but remembered they, some they basically no 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 that that i uh that i was able to shoot oh okay that okay I was able okay, to fire. okay but all the games like, and the all the guns in the game were not real. No, okay, they were not. Gotcha. Um, okay, you know that some was, of them were extremely. Blew my mind, if no. that's true. Like, <laughs> some of them are extremely creative. Advanced. No, if, okay. If uh, I uh, shot a rocket launcher <laughs> and a BFG and <laughs> at a yeah, green the, screen, BFG I, was <laughs> quite impressive. <laughs> huh? So uh, what was the process? You said that you capture that muzzle flash and yes. then. And then uh, transferred over. Was it? Is it just like? Well, it's just like uh, in the film industry now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have uh, you know a halo of three hundred sixty degree cameras around around the room, mm-hmm. uh, probably you know ten feet uh, off the ground. Are you saying and that's each, nowadays, or is that back then? That was then. Oh really? And okay, I, so that's I what just, you had then. I felt uh, just so fortunate because we were one of the only uh, one of the first green screen. Uh, uh, st- studios mm-hmm. for video games, mm. and I was able to, you know, I was approached to, you know, mm-hmm. uh, that's really cool. Be yeah. in charge of these effects and so forth. So I he was approached to shoot guns. And then <laughs> I was, and I <laughs> accidentally got our <laughs> leprechaun in, dr- drunk in the drunk around, drunk yeah. trunk. It was so a drunk trunk. A drunk trunk. <laughs> yeah, they're they're an option uh, on some vehicles now. Yeah. So what? Uh, I don't know whether to believe him that there was a leprechaun. I'm just. I've resolved. I've um, kind of. I swear. To take everything he yes, says with state. like a little, little bit of truth, little yeah. bit of. Oh, uh, oh who I was going to say just blind, blind, no. column, blind a support. No, nah, just everything's a little bit of. Uh, uh, I swear, I looked over my shoulder and there was a leprechaun. I, to this day, I don't know if there was, but it was. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's pretty incredible. He was, he was a neat little guy. Uh, so what was that? When did we get to Silent Hill? That's. That's uh, last. Oh, okay. 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 Why do you want to well, talk about no, that? I'm, I want to talk about how that game 
literally scared the crap out of me. Oh yeah. my gosh, yes. For my entire <laughs> life. So, um, <laughs> do you have anything else on Doob you want to talk about? Oh, that is an amazing game. It was a really good game. It was that was an intense schedule for the amount of artists that we had. Uh, We had a a couple animators, and then I was responsible for uh, texture mapping the walls. So what you see, all the bone looking Mm, stuff, and so forth. That is so cool. (laughs) So So I was responsible for that. You're in all the just all the environment. I, that's uh, well. Yeah, all all of the environments. Uh, there was, I think, there was one level that looked kind of space, and it had more of that, uh, you know, uh, uh, not so much alien kind of doomy evil, but it was more of the metal mm-hmm. bands and so forth. Of, yeah. yeah. Th- uh, mm. That level I did not uh, create. Okay. But all of that doomish, you know, uh, yeah. at the time I. I tried and tried and tried my best to to research other artists, not to copy, of course, but to come up with my to come up with kind of my own little motif style uh, for yeah. for the look and feel of the game. Uh, so I started I researching, you know, at the library. We didn't have, uh, yeah, we didn't have the internet back then. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I went to the library and, and he hopped on the microfiche. Uh. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we didn't have that yet. See, uh, this, is, this is, I love this because I, I wasn't a computer kid, you know. I was always had the consoles. Um, so you're talking about all these, you know, environments and the guns and things, and it's taking me right back to being a kid. And I, I, I know. remember playing this. And yeah. I oh my gosh. I yeah. played the heck out of this game, and it's just one of those things like. Oh, I remember this. I remember and, that. Oh, I remember I that remember stuff. This, and I know like this. Like yeah. going down the skeletons on the walls would yeah, make yeah. you happy. It made me happy because yeah. <laughs> I knew my parents were not happy with me. Like, did, did you mean the, the evil doors? Yes, with the skele- all that. Oh, yeah. that. You know what? My whole premise was to design to make people happy with <laughs> death and evil. So, so yeah, yeah, that's yes, great. It's it making me happy it now. Wow. I mean, you know, my parents hated it back then. I, but I'm sensing I, yeah, a lot Mike of joy. Saying, I think Mike was saying it made him happy because he knew if his parents saw it, they would be like, <laughs> what are you playing? So then, <laughs> and that was what made him the happy. Other thing well, I, you know what? Uh, at that point in time, uh, it was a really, really, really horrible time for uh, our art team mm-hmm. and the company. Um, because I don't know if you're, you remember back the Columbine, yeah, high, mm-hmm. was it a high school shooting or mm-hmm. so forth? Um, I think the shooter back then was playing Doom, and well, so and it's, who's it's again, going to it's be? It's again one of those things that you know they try and link video game violence with actual yeah. violence, and yep. if but playing they, a game where you are a doctor doesn't make me a doctor playing yep. a game where you know people are being violent it's not going to make me violent it's it's <laughs> it's a <laughs> one of those ethical issues and but so like forth. no but if I, if I sit down if i sit down and play uh, you know surgeon simulator <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, you, i'm yeah. not going to go like just but walk into the you know er like all right i've played some surgeon simulator <laughs> don't worry guys i got this i've heard he's <laughs> so, also I, I heard he also watched <laughs> heathers which you know, Christian Slater was going to blow up a school. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's yeah. Wh- you know, it's whatever. I've played thousands yeah. of hours of GTA, and I don't punch old ladies in the face. So, <laughs> Ex- well, pretty sure. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's like, like I'm they, pretty sure I'm good. Like so, they, Even to this day, they uh, still try and, you know, win yeah. the two. And what, um, what kind of schedule is that? Was that uh, how yeah, long from beginning to end? Was it like a year? That was uh, a maximum of uh, concept to completion. I think it was about two years. Two but we, we worked with John Carmack, you know, id, mm-hmm. uh, you know, yeah. the originators of the original right. Doom. And not close hand. I was really, really amazed how they gave gave me so much creative flexibility. Yeah. And that shows, the passion shows in the final product. If they would have mm-hmm. been kind of breathing down our necks, they as artists understand that, mm-hmm. you know, to let, to let this company go. Give some go. leeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, that's, that's nice. the next Doom doesn't come out until ten years later, mm-hmm. and not only that, then the movie comes out straight after that. Oh, so right. really, the movie itself, probably when filming and coming up with it, probably used a lot of your designs, and and a lot. I mean, what the, a lot of your research and look in playing that game was part of the movie. So you were really a part of that movie. Do you think? Do you feel like that? <laughs> Do you feel connected? <laughs> that, is, that is my uh, understanding of it. <laughs> because you know when they do movies, they just constantly you know take yep. everything and else. Yeah, they sometimes. do. And <laughs> you look at sometimes, yes, <laughs> sometimes, but yes, um, but yeah. Um, okay, so on the next thing, Hydro Thunder. Now I've not played Hydro Thunder. You were the one. You were talking about this. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. I'll let you. I'll uh, it was a game. 
and there was uh, <laughs> thunder yeah. involved as well. I as feel hydro. like this one <laughs> is cream. more ocean and water, which is much different than <laughs> your yep. car uh, games, the which is more one. landish. We worked uh, hand in hand with uh, Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing I the thing I distinctly remember the most about Hydro Thunder, and if if I am correct, because th- what wh- was this the one that you worked on, or was this the one that came after it? Uh, no, Hydro Thunder. I, w- I, okay, I worked good, on. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, the uh, all of the boats, and uh, there was a, t- a person that that designed initial boats. I came in and um, basically came up with the look and feel of mm. all the boats. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, all the textures, all the graphics, Which, how did they look? That's what stands out for me the most. Yeah. Was the boats had like these sort of radical designs that um that I kept I I I just keep thinking in my head as I was playing this game like this boat should flip. Like there's no <laughs> there's no way <laughs> There's no way this thing should This actually, thing should yeah. 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 And I was like Drop I feel like water. it'd just be like <laughs> just flipping <laughs> yeah. out of control. So uh <laughs> but it never did. Uh as far as I can remember. Uh, there was one game like that that the boats would. Anyway, I think you could make them flip, but that was, was like that a stunt. Because if I remember correctly, because it played kind of like uh, like the old uh, oh God, San, Francisco San Francisco Rush. Rush San Francisco and, Rush. Um, oh wow, that's uh, crazy! Because I totally, totally. Yeah, I can't totally think of the other one off the top of my head, but you, where you each would other like sandwiches, <laughs> <laughs> where you yeah. could like double tap the gas and get them to pop. Away. Yeah, yeah. And and definitely with uh, Hydro Thunder, we mm. came up with you know secret moves and so forth that you could do backflips or yeah. you know up and about or but, faster. But that's funny because the thing that stands out the most was the boat designs. It was yeah. just like such radical. Um, it looked more like spaceships. Uh, neon colored spaceships oh, yeah. <laughs> than, than yeah. boats. So I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, the rad hazard, the uh, you know the nuclear looking disc. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a lot of fun mm. um, to try to make look metal with a two D surface. Oh yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And back then, we didn't have a lot of specularity, which is you know light that kind of hits mm. and yeah. reflects and refracts and so uh, forth. Now in Hydro Thunder, the the boats were called Thrasher X. Does that sound familiar? Uh, yeah, the Thresher. Oh, and no. they, the they, had, a, of they had a certain motor in them. Do you know what motor it was? Uh, wow, what? <laughs> What's happening? In in them, they uh, had a yes. motor called the Wilson motor. Did you know that? Uh, named after Andrew E. Wilson, who was one of the artists on the original game. Did you well, know that? really? You had the motor named after you. <laughs> Is this uh? <laughs> do, you, do you remember this? <laughs> is this true? Is my main no concern? no yes this yes is really no you yes. read it online. Oh yeah yeah everything's all so right. So must be true. Online. Yeah. Do you remember anything about this? Uh, <laughs> did the leprechaun have something to do with this? That's what I'm wondering. If no, maybe no. like after the game no. came out, I did my research. This there that's a real thing. Uh, they a named Wilson. a motor after you. So, they uh, the, we I thought that was very interesting. I actually incorporated all of the names of each and every. Uh, artist developer gotcha. oh, uh, into each book. Golly, I can't tell. So how is it every day? <laughs> you have no idea no. what's Whether real. It's what's it's 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 a it's yeah. a wild world to just work with this <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, uh, I know. It's, uh, it's, hey, uh, what <laughs> you have for lunch wins today? reality, wins not. I'm so I glad just kind of go with things it. wild. <laughs> <laughs> wild. Um, okay, so what comes after Hydro Thunder then? Um, uh, and H2 Overdrive. I don't know this game at oh, all. It, you know what? H2 Overdrive was after Silent Hill. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so s- we'll, we'll put that off then. Midnight, yeah, Midnight Club was, Midnight was Club. next. Midnight Club uh, I have right here, see, which is the, the Platinum the Hits. Ooh. <laughs> and so, I played um, the heck out of that game. I love it. I, yeah. I um, remember because I remembered my only... Fast and Furious movie I actually liked, which is Fast and Furious. And this uh, is actually heading. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What I year totally was it? Interrupted you. This is uh, 2003. Yeah, it would be Fast and Furious. Yeah, I mean, right. it's like on Fast and, and like Furious that movie 13, came out, right? And I was like, oh yeah, this oh yeah, is the game. It's I definitely buying it. Oh, now like I bought it before, which is very uncharacteristic of me. I bought it before I did any sort of research or played anything like that. Anything, rented it, nothing. Yeah, just bought it because it looked that good out of the, right out of the bat. So I have well, <laughs> my iPad in front of me that, gotcha. of course, all of you can see out there, right? Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Great radio. No. And, and it is showing you... Uh, it looks like a motorcycle? It is showing you a wireframe that I built. And these are, really cool. these are two specs. 
uh, like West Coast Choppers and yeah. so forth. Um, uh, the artwork that you had was it yeah. West yeah. Coast? Yeah, there's yeah. two of these games. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very Can much. Can you put these? There's a wireframe, and there it is, texture map. There it is in game. Wow, that's cool. And that is what you see actually on the bike. At, like at e it looks like each piece, each piece like re unassembled almost. Yeah. that's insane. Now a lot has changed <laughs> from going from like Doom to here because I remember Doom, you know, and and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, what they could deal with then, but then getting to well, Midnight limited. Club. These cars yeah. look real. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. you go from drastically. It, I mean, we went from yeah. eight colors yeah. <laughs> to from 16, uh, from 16 so, yeah. bit to, you know, yeah. full 3D stuff. And that 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 is something that uh, I look back and and I I am just in awe over and I, I just feel uh, just really privileged to have seen to that have, that yeah. whole tech curve mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like you said, from eight colors to, you know, looking like d darn near a film. Yeah. Um, and then being through everything and, and helped pi helping pioneer all of this mm -hmm. at the same time. I mean, when you're driving, you could see behind you because the reflection in the car. I mean, it was yeah. just, it's yeah. so gorgeous. Um, but this is actually you. Now you've gone from Midway and you moved to Rockstar. So and what, I've gone what, to Rockstar. Rockstar. What brought that on? I mean, you don't have to tell. I mean, if it's no, bad. No, that's okay. Oh, it's not bad <laughs> okay, at all. Good. It's not bad at all. I just all of a sudden like, oh, in, wow. in fact, leprechauns uh, in the office. I mean. <laughs> in fact, I d d uh, another uh, another thing I look back on, and and I'm really really lucky to have, uh, uh, d d you know, to to be able to reflect on is I loved every single game company I worked with. Uh, there were really no fumes mm -hmm. uh never really left in a storm right um but the i would say the average um uh, uh span that a an artist works for any studio is roughly two to three years and then they mm -hmm. go on um if not absolutely loving that company and staying um, but I saw fit uh, at Midway. Unless you destroyed too many green screens. To, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I didn't want to see anything but the hole that I put through the wall. Yeah. That's awesome. uh, uh, sorry, go ahead. You were saying no, something. But but it it. <laughs> and then I derailed you. Honestly, this sounds really cheesy to say, but I, I almost feel honored to have, you know, uh, been kind of grown up and raised from eight pixels mm -hmm. or i mean uh eight colors to mm -hmm. uh this this uh, un what seems to be unlimited now we still have a yeah. lot of restrictions it's definitely not at the the film industry gauge yet and it won't be because mm -hmm. each console has its own restrictions even um, though i mean the the size in which some yeah. games have gotten to now is just it, it Insane. The the game engine, sometimes. yeah, the the game engine, uh, game engines are are remarkable. Um, each each studio, each company has its own proprietary, um, at least the ones that I've worked with, have their own proprietary exporting mm -hmm. uh, uh, tools. And so you know the that whole system of of pushing the envelope, company to company, and competing to make things look better. Mm -hmm. That's why you have, you know, fantasy on one hand mm -hmm. that, you know, they create, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. mind blowing uh, things that that utilize the capabilities of these brand new game engines. Um, and on the flip side, you have, you know, the Call of Duty and all of the the realistic looking bro -ho games, <laughs> the bro -ho yeah. games <laughs> bro -ho. that yeah. that look uh equally stunning that are mm -hmm. also uh you know these companies are trying to push that same envelope but in a different manner mm -hmm. and so that's that's what you're seeing and that's why we have so much growth um in the video game industry because all of these companies are pushing pushing the envelope pushing and just trying to you know outmatch mm -hmm. and that that yeah. push continual push is growth yeah well, and you can even see it in like a single console's life cycle. The video games, you know, the games that came out on the 360, you know, at the beginning the of the beginning, cycle that yeah. looked amazing compared yeah. to the original Xbox. You look at those there toward the end of the cycle, and you're still using the exact same system eight, nine years later, and you're still getting, you know, but just you're seeing such gorgeous yeah, games. amazing Absolutely. result 
even even in the difference of in that console's lifetime, the beginning, oh, yeah. beginning of the end of the game, it's such a big difference with and the that's same just hardware. How oh, they yeah. pack they how they pack those it, CDs. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, in different ways to, to, to process the power and different mm-hmm. things that you know, different tools come out that'll that'll free up, you know, uh, you know, processing power. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just that, that you know they come up with through through the lifetime of these things. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, having the opportunity to, uh, of course, I won't name names of, of companies, but having the opportunity to uh, create uh, uh, video game art and environments real time. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. is just something that is uh, that's not unique just to one company anymore. Uh, various companies uh, utilize that as part of their uh, development tool. But uh, to be able to do that, uh, to create an asset like a motorcycle or a car or something, build your environment from scratch, and then run the motorcycle through it and see how it looks. No, it's going to need more blue. Or mm-hmm. do 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 do. And way back when, you know, years ago, uh, when 3D was was up and going, uh, and you weren't able to do that, it would not only take five times as long to export it and try it and see it and this right. and that mm-hmm. and so. The, the the creative abilities that artists have, uh, the creative abilities that artists have now, um, and the flexibility they have, uh, is determined largely upon uh, the technology that mm. right. that they receive. Um, so the the tech curve really really helps uh, the art curve. However. We're not able to create these uh, awesome little eight pixel side scrollers anymore. You know that, right. that so many were passionate about. People were passionate about that working on. In fact, uh, I, I know of a few uh, uh, people that left the industry um, during the uh, uh, crossover between um, 2D and 3D mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. technology for video games because they were just smoking awesome painters. But they just weren't able to flip flop in their mind and see, you know, their mind just wouldn't work yeah. in it, a way to work in a 3D no, space. No, it was a, f- a frustration Oof. for them. So yeah. they had to move on. I'm going to pause you because I want to talk more about that. But we're going to call this uh, podcast. We're at 40. So um, once again, I know that flew by, but we're going to do one more. Uh, next week, um, you can get at us at username nerd everything. <laughs> username nerd everything. <laughs> so if uh, I look that up. Everywhere. Username nerd everything. And then also give us your uh, website. You'll probably still find us. <laughs> nice. Give us, a, what, give, us a, your, give us your website one more time. Yep. It's uh, www. <laughs> dot He's good. Okay. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's this laughing tension thing. Okay, it's of course you didn't www. Even get the W's. I'm not even HTTPing it. <laughs> it's it's DrOddWorld.com, no. and you will find uh, hyperlinks to uh, actually not my website because that is my website. You'll be on that. So <laughs> So no hyperlinks so to the website. No hyperlinks. That'll bring you right back to the website, the website. Yeah. in which you could find my my email uh, and all my contact <laughs> info. And in fact, you'll you'll be able to see probably because I'm updating a few of the uh, video game I- images. But uh, the f- the main focus on that website uh, will be my new uh, custom top hats. Cool, cool, Ooh. cool, cool. And you uh, definitely your phone number because you like to be. Like yep, my that. my phone Go number ahead. is area code 858-344-6483. And just to let you know, those first three numbers are the area code. So thank they you are. for <laughs> letting us know about that. Sorry, I'm yes. sorry. HTTP 552 there? Nothing else but... Real fast, what's our phone number? Uh, 913-717-NERD. So if you want to call and leave messages, uh, we will air uh, appropriate and and appropriate and uh, relative messages. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just call and tell us about wow. whatever. Wow. Yes, no, no, yeah. call and tell well, us yes, about Well, yes, do, whatever. but they might not just get in. Just call yeah, and sure. say hi. But anyway, okay. uh, stay nerdy. Uh, stay nerdy.
okay, stop. Don't go to the next YouTube video or channel or skip or don't do anything. Real quick, five seconds. We have three different channels. Please subscribe to them. Username Nerd News, Username Nerd Comics, Username Nerd Games. We have separated them out into three ones. Choose all of them or just, just one to subscribe to. You'd love it. I promise you we'll give you great content. It'll show up in your feed. You'll love it. Just real quick click. It doesn't take but a few seconds. You'd be awesome. Thank you. I mean, you are really awesome. Thank you.